Hey everyone, welcome back to Friday Night Magic with Karusamon. This week we are jumping into the brand new ranked constructed event that is on Magic the Gathering Arena. And we're going to jump in with this Demir Control deck by a user named Scappy from Moto. He has gone 5-0 and with this list twice now. Uh, this is actually his first list. This is the list I've been practicing with over the last week or so. And uh, maybe we'll do some of the updates that he did with his second list uh, for another video. But let's just go through it really quick and see what's going on here. So it plays very few win conditions. It actually has three. It has two Dream Eaters and one Tezzeret Artifice Master. Uh, other ways you can win are with the... let's see, where are they at? The Eldest Reborns here. Uh, so you just bring back one of their creatures, one of their best, uh, whatever their best creature or planeswalker is, and uh, you can go from there. Uh, lots of card draw in the form of Tezzeret himself and card advantage and surveillance and surveilling with Dream Eaters. Uh, you got Center to Sabotage, which also surveils. Thought Erasure surveils and takes a card from their hand. Chemister's Insight uh, draws you two cards and jump starts. You also have Discovery Dispersal, Search for Escanta, and Disinformation Campaign. So basically just uh, ways to filter through your deck to get through to either your Removal Suite, which is Raska's Contempt, Ritual of Soot, uh, Moment of Craving and Cast Down, and Eldest Reborn itself, and then or to filter and find your win conditions. Uh, there's also an Emergency Blink of an Eye for those crazy enchantments that might get through. Uh, Syncopates are really good at... Uh, removing a couple of threat, recursive threats from the game, like a blood operative or those uh, flame weight or those phoenixes um, from the Izzet deck, and so on. Uh, the lands, 25 lands, plays four drowned catacombs, four watery graves, nine swamps, and eight islands. Uh, everything else is pretty straightforward. Um, it's a pretty fun deck to play. Uh, it can be a little frustrating. You can flood out pretty easily sometimes, and if that happens, you know you just uh, move on to the next game. Uh, but what I'm really excited about is we're going to jump into the new, brand new ranked constructed event that they have on Magic Arena. Uh, so it's interesting that this this is the new uh, ranked system that they're going to be employing. Uh, resets uh, every month or so, I believe. Uh, they're planning on one month being a season, and you can ju you just try to scale up as much as you can, and by the end of the month. Uh, whatever rank you're at warrants you a particular uh, reward set. So what's interesting about it is under the old ranking system um, it was very difficult to level up. Uh, so you had uh, people, even really good players, who were stuck in bronze and silver tiers uh, for almost the duration since the last wipe, which was back in October. Now with the new system, I actually started playing a couple of games this morning uh, you rank up very quickly. I'm already in the silver tier um, after just a couple of games this morning, and it just went live this morning. So it's very interesting to see. Uh, it's going to be very interesting to see how these things shake out as far as rankings go and who will be at the top. Uh, but anyway, so let's go over to Arena and see how this does in best of ones. Uh, there is a sideboard, but since we're playing best of ones, we're not going to get into it this time. Uh, maybe next time we'll play some uh, best two out of three matches and see how it does in a real uh, format. But anyway, so let's head over to Arena and get it going. Okay, so this hand's pretty good. We have uh, two drowned catacombs and an island. So we'll start off with this island here, and then our catacombs will come into play untapped. Uh, then we can turn to Thought Erasure into Disinformation Campaign, and then we have Chemistry Insight to refill our hand, and Vraska's Contempt to f take care of anything that might slip through. Uh, we're also on the play, which is nice, so let's go ahead and keep and see how we do. So again, we'll start off with this island and pass the turn. Our opponent might be on the same deck here, or they might actually be on the Grixis deck. Uh, we'll Thought Erasure them and find out. Uh, looks like they're actually on Esper. Um, so a bunch of counter spells and an Eldest Reborn. Let's take this to Fairy. Uh, I do actually want to land, so let's keep that there. And let's see, let's go ahead and we can Disinformation Campaign this turn. Uh, they don't have a counter spell that can stop us. 
Or we could just Thought Erasure and take their Eldest Reborn now and see what their other card is. So they do have a quite a, uh, they have two centers, or they have a Wizards of Tor and a Sinister Sabotage, which are hard counters. Uh, this doesn't do much against us right now. It does get, uh, you know, our Chemistry's Insight and our Vraska's Contempt, but we're not looking to cast those yet. So let's disinformation campaign and see what they discard. Maybe they'll discard one of their counter spells. Alright, so they discarded their land uh, that was hidden from us. Alright, so I'm not going to Thought Erasure them now. I'm going to Chemistry's Insight at the end of their turn, and if they counter it, that's fine. It means that we can Thought Erasure them again on our turn. So let's see what they do. We're going to Chemistry's Insight at the end of their turn. Alright, so they allowed it to go through. Let's go ahead and start with a Thought Erasure. They're going to counter it, because they want to choose what card we take but they don't know that we actually drew another one. Alright, let's play out this tapped and Thought Erasure them again. Uh, definitely gonna get rid of Chromium. I don't know if we want another Vraska's Contempt, so let's put that aside. So they drew their fourth land. Uh, let's play our land and then Disinformation Campaign. Alright, so that prevents them from casting Chemistry's Insight this turn, and we'll just go ahead and counter that as well. So we'll get two cards out of this exchange. I don't want another land. So they'll probably discard Chemistry's Insight so they can cast it later. Yeah. Alright, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold back and cast Chemistry's Insight at the end of their turn. They're probably going to cast it now. Nope, they decided to keep whatever it is in their hand. We're going to cast ours, though. Get rid of this Ritual of Soot. They can Disdainful Stroke it. But they're not going to. Alright, so Dream Eater is pretty fantastic here. Uh, we have, let's see, four, eight, so we're one short of being able to cast it and disinformation campaign, so let's just go disinformation campaign here. So they did have another sabotage, which is fine. Pass the turn. Uh, so we can cast this Search for Ascanta. And if they go for Chemistry's Insight this turn, we'll Dream Eater. Actually, no, we won't because they have Eldest Reborn here. Um, Actually, we have our own Eldest Reborn. We'll see. We'll see what they do. We'll end the turn. So I think I am going to cast it. It forces them to use their Eldest Reborn. If they draw a land. I'm going to keep the Discovery on top. And right now we're just running them out of resources. Uh, they were able to refill their hand pretty well there, but... Uh, so if they have a land and they drop an Eldest Reborn, that's fine. Let me keep that on 
top and transform our search. So they discarded Golden Demise. We'll just cast Disinformation Campaign again. And we'll hold this land to discard to their Eldest Reborn. the turn here and we'll hold up Ascanta they're gonna get the dream eater back but I still think we're okay we have double eldest reborn uh, so they're going to get their chromium back Let's dig with Ascanta here. I'm going to take the Tezzeret since that's one of our win conditions. So let's see if we can get them here. How much mana do we have? We have 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Let's start with an Eldest Reborn. They're going to Disdainful Stroke it. Let's see if we have another one. So they have a search of, uh, of their own, and there was a land. Alright, so they don't have to discard. We're going to go ahead and play out our Tezzeret here. And just create a token. And we're probably going to get their Chromium back too. So Devious Cover-Up, they have a Counterspell that we know of now. Let's go ahead and activate Search. And they've given up. Alright, so we earned two victory ranks here for Silver Tier 4. Uh, let's see if we can keep it going. Alright, so we are on the play, or excuse me, on the draw. Uh, we have a Watery Grave and two Swamps. Uh, we do have a Cast Down, but we can't cast anything else in our hand, so I don't think this is a very good hand to keep, um, considering we only have one reset in the form of Cast Down. We can't counter anything on their turn four. So let's mulligan. All right, this is not much better, but at least we can cast two things in our hand now. So I think we're going to keep that. Um, Eldest Reborn. Uh, yeah, we'll keep that on top. Opponent is saying hello, so we'll say hello back. Alright, so Steam Vents, maybe either uh, Is it Drakes or Grixis. Could also be Just Guy. Looks like it's Grixis. There's a Thought Erasure, which is not good. I'll probably take our Sabotage, yep. All 
All right, so Tezzeret, that's one of our win conditions. Thank, thank, thankfully, he was not in our hand, unless they hit us again with another Athot Erasure. They did not, so we'll just continue climbing the land ladder here. All right, so they are stuck on... Interesting. Uh, so they probably have Sinister Sabotage themselves or Vraska's Contempt. So I want to be able to protect the Tezzeret. And eventually one of us is going to have to play something, so... So there's a Thought Erasure, so now the Tezzeret's gone. But we get the Thought Erasure them back. Unless they have a sabotage. They have ionize. Alright, pass. And we'll just keep playing lands. I could play the Eldest Reborn. Um, I mean, if it gets countered, we're probably. We've probably lost this game. Uh, but. It doesn't do anything on the board now. It doesn't do anything until next turn when it makes them discard. And right now there is... Well, there's a Tezzeret in our graveyard, so... I guess we do need to try to force this issue. So they have another Ionias. I think we're just going to blink that back. Force them to play it again. And now we have a sabotage, so we can actually counter it. I don't think we want another Raska's Contempt. So, Discovery, uh, no to the Cravings, and we drew a Ritual Soot, which is not what we wanted. Alright, so here's our Eldest Reborn, let's see if they have another Counterspell. There's the third Ionize. Thief of Sanity. So let's Thought Erasure them first. So they have Eldest Reborn, Syncopate, Cast Down. Shiv and fire, shiv and fire. Uh, let's definitely take the Eldest Reborn. I don't want to land. And let's use this Ritual of Soot that is otherwise useless in our hand. They can syncopate for one, but we have the one, so no harm there. Now we're working with perfect information. Now we just gotta find a Dream Eater. Uh, sure, we'll let that resolve. And let's see, so we'll go to the end of the turn. All right, so now we got a Dream Eater. can't cast it yet because if we lose it, we 
we may not have a way to win the game. Keep ditching lands. And another cast down. So they are shocking themselves. I will not do the same. So there is an Eldest Reborn. We would have four left over. See if we can get that counter spell out of their hand. So they had ionize. We'll let that resolve. And that is their fourth ionize, so. No more of those. Right? One, two, three, four. Uh, we could... So let's try to force the issue here. Make them pay three, or counter it with their own syncope, and then we can Raskets Contempt it. Draw a land, we may just Rask of Contempt and Dream Eater on the same turn. We did not, so we just have to do this. And pass the, keep passing the turn. So we need our discard spells to try to get rid of some of this creature stuff before we can cast Dream Eater. I don't know how much room, I don't know how much um, counter magic they have left. Now that we've gone through four ionizes, and I don't know how many syncopates. Let's see, one, just one syncopate, so. We do have to worry about decking. We're five cards further in than they are. Okay, so this is where we get started here. So there goes one. So there's a nickel bolus. Can't cast that down. Uh, we have to resolve it and get rid of Ritual of Soot. So a search for Ascanta. Check my graveyard first. So there's still one more Dream Eater in the deck. So I think what I have to do is we can flip it. We can force that. They can cast it again. And we'll lose our cast down, but that's a trade I think we have to make. In 
that gets rid of their cast down. So I don't. The problem is, is I don't want to mill too much either. So let's keep a thought erasure up. And I can't recast. Oh, actually, they're gonna lose their nickel bolus now, because we're going to thought erasure it. That's actually pretty good. Because they cast down the thing. I'm going to keep that on top. And we're going to transform search. We're going to cast disinformation campaign. And they got rid of their moment of craving. Let's just keep climbing the ladder here. Uh, we're definitely getting rid of Nicol Bolas. We're getting rid of a land. Alright, and I think we're just going to... Actually, I'm going to cast Search. That way we can try to find our other Dream Eater. Because the Ascanta itself won't do it, so we gotta search for it. We'll decline to, tr to transform it. I actually just missed an Ascanta search there, but that's okay. Digging four with 13 left, uh, there's a chance we might actually hit these things on there. So they do have a cast down. We need to search here. Let's get a thought erasure. And I'm going to leave syncopate on top too, and we'll decline to, tr to change it. Start there. I'll keep a disinformation campaign on top. They discarded a Shivan Fire. There's a Chemister's Insight. And we'll pass. We're at nine cards left, so we gotta try to win quickly. Them shocking themselves is actually pretty helpful because, uh, well, I mean, I guess it doesn't change the clock. If you shock themselves one more time, it changes the clock, but. I'm gonna Chemistry's Insight instead of Ascanta. Because dig four and then put the guy on the Dream Eater on the bottom. And how many cards left? We're going to decline that. We're at six cards. There's the Dream Eater. Uh, so we still have to get rid of one more card in their hand. One of these. So I don't know how many Thought Erasers we've already done. One, two, three, four. We got rid of... we've done four already. Let's look here. Uh, I'll take the Sinister Sabotage. And our last four cards. Um, I mean, it doesn't matter. I'm not going to cast that disinformation campaign. So uh, let's. So there is a Nicol Bolas. We'll let that resolve. Uh, 
we're going to discard our cast down. Ooh, let's see. Do we have enough to do all this? So, yeah, so let's... Casting these disinformation campaigns. We'll keep it on top and decline. Uh, we are going to attack. And then end the turn. There's another land. Top and decline. So we have two left. All right, so we sinister sabotage that. Decline to transform. All right, we have one card left, so this is it. They have to draw a kill spell now. say a good game. They drew exactly what they needed, so we will go ahead and concede that one. Alright, so we lost a rank there. Alright, so we're on the draw. Our opponent mulliganed. Uh, this hand isn't the best, but since they mulliganed and we have a restart in the form of Blink of an Eye and we can attack their hand in Thought Erasure, I'm going to take a chance and keep it. And they bought on their first card. Alright, so they have to reveal up another pirate. They revealed another daring buccaneer. Hopefully we can find a ritual of soot. Wanted Scoundrels. When Wanted Scoundrel dies, target opponent creates two colorless treasures. Okay. Uh, so we have a choice here. We can Thought Erasure. Uh, we're going to take six if we do that. But I just want to I want to keep attacking their hand, I think. And then we can reset with Blink of an Eye. Yeah. 
If we choose to blink of an eye this turn, we have to take six so we can try to take the Wanted Scoundrel out of their hand. I think at this point we're playing for Ritual Assault anyway, so let's Thought Erasure them. They're both two power. That's not what we're looking for, so we'll send that away. Sell Freebooter. I'm assuming we'll take the Tezzeret. Or maybe the Blink. Yeah. So we'll definitely take the Scoundrel. Uh, Braska's Contempt is fine. We'll buy us some time. So we're taking seven here, going to five. And we'll have to pass the turn. Well, we're asking Contempt the Wanted Scoundrel. This will put us to four. Do they have another creature to play? They do not. So let's Tezzeret here. This will get us a blocker. Should buy us some more turns. My employer sends his regards. I learned a few tricks on Kaladin. They can cannonade, I guess? Yep. And that's it. So we're on the play. I have a turn to search. I can cast down any early creatures they have and go straight into disinformation campaign and then double Eldest Reborn. Uh, search is going to allow us to find lands, so I think this is definitely a keepable hand. So there's a third land. So let's search. So maybe the Boros deck. Honor Guard is pretty good. Um, I'm going to library that. I don't mind taking one right now. I'm going to get this disinformation campaign uh, online. So hopefully next turn I'll be able to take like an Aurelia or History of Benalia is fine. Uh, definitely gonna library that. I'm gonna play out this here. Actually, I should have played out the Watery Grave. Uh, so, sh two Shalai's, a Knight of Grace, which has pro black, and a Lightning Strike. Cast Down doesn't deal with the Shalai's, it doesn't deal with the Knight of Grace. 
Eldest Reborn does with all of them. This creates problems here, so if they just play more. It could just be take Lightning Strike, but I don't know. I'm going to send that into the graveyard. So if they drew a land, they're probably playing Shalai. Looks like they did not. This would be a really good spot for us to find a Ritual of Soot. I'm gonna graveyard that. It's a disinformation campaign. Um, I think I have to shock myself here. Oh. I think that's going to be it. Shalai, more at two. I'm going to graveyard that. There is a land. And we die. So, misplaying my Watery Grave didn't hurt us. Uh, we would have lost anyway, but not good, not good. All right, we're going to play with a turn two search, so I'm going to keep this. And we'll just go straight into search here. Keep that on top. We might be playing against either Jeskai or is it Drakes or Grixis? We don't know yet. Um, but I'm going to keep the Eldest Reborn because it's just good no matter what. See what they're working with here. Okay, so an unwind counter spell. top. You just gotta keep forcing them to play something. I mean, if they have counter spells, it's better to counter these things than our Eldest Reborns. And we also have to play stuff. Discovery on top. Uh, it doesn't look like we need these Frasca's Contempts, especially since we have one and two Eldest Reborns already, so we'll play off our land and pass the turn. Probably should Radical Idea at the end of our turn. Nope, they're going to opt instead. Or they can still Radical Idea, actually. And 
we will pass the turn. It's possible I could be should just be trying to jam these Eldest Reborns here. So it looks to me like they are either just is it control or drakes of some kind. And we'll graveyard that land and definitely transform this one. And that could put us over the top. Let's see. We can start finding counter spells of our own. We'll be in good, a good shape. All right, let's activate as Kanta here. Uh, we'll take the Tezzeret since that's one of our win conditions. I'm just going to try to start playing some Elder Reborns now that we have a Tezzeret. turn I might actually cast the Tezzeret because we can get it back with this Eldest Reborn. That's an Electromancer, sure. Let's blink this. See what they do. Force them into some action here. See if we can get them to spend some more mana. And use a card. Let's lead off with a disinformation campaign. So now I'm going to cast Tezzeret, because if they, unless they syncopate it, uh, we're going to get it back with the Eldest Reborn. And we don't have anything else we can do this turn, so... cover up. This works just like a syncopate. Sure. And he shuffled back in the Electromancer there. Uh, well, let's go for this other Eldest Reborn. Uh, we'll pay one. Since we can't do anything else, 
I'm going to play this other search out. So we can filter through at the beginning of our turns. So there's an Electromancer. Uh, we'll graveyard that. We need to pay attention to how many cards are left in our graveyard. We'll decline to switch. They have to discard now. Uh, let's go ahead and Thought Erasure. Sinister, sinister Sabotage there. So they have to have a second counter spell. I'm fine with that exchange. It practically emptied their hand anyway, which is what I was trying to do with this information campaign, so... Disinformation campaign first. And they can counter it, but they'll lose if not, they'll lose their card, so. Yep, we'll take two. And we'll just replay our Eldest Reborn here. And we'll play back out our other search. that one and decline to transform. They have to discard, they have nothing, and whatever their next play is we can counter. We'll graveyard that land, decline to transform, draw a card for the turn, and get back there raw. Today's forecast is cloudy. Uh, let's look at the top two cards. The other one's going bye -bye. We'll take this syncopate, play out a land, and pass the turn. Alright, let's ask Kanta here. We'll take this dispersal. Again, we have to keep an eye on our lands, our, our, our library. There's another Dream Eater. <laughs> Hope we get something good. Um. So I think I'm going to... end the turn by getting rid of this Moment of Craving, and then I'm going to Dream Eater at the end of their turn. That way we can start getting in there. Now I definitely want a Thought Erasure. I'll keep the lands just in case here. We'll be able to filter through them anyway. I want to filter through a whole bunch of lands in one shot. Uh, let's cast Disinformation Campaign first. Sabotage that. And let 
let's syncopate that for four. top for now. Choose wisely, because the other one's going bye-bye. And we'll attack. And I probably will just pop this emblem now, so that way... Yep, okay, so that was enough for our opponent. So we're on the play. We have Discovering Cast Down as early place and also Syncopate. Tezzeret's one of our win conditions. Uh, this is not... I don't really think this is a hand I want to keep. Uh, it has enough early disruption, I guess, to kind of pull out of it. And on one card draw spell. It's iffy. It's definitely iffy. Uh, let's take a shot. We'll lead off with an island and pass the turn. There's a firebrand, sure. So this, in my playtesting, the mono red deck, aggro deck, was pretty tough to beat. Um, Yep, Lava Mancer. I'll go ahead and cast that down. Alright, so now we have a hard counter that we can actually cast. So we'll see what they actually play. A risk factor. Let's definitely syncopate that. And it goes bye bye, they can't even jump start it. So, another question is do we discovery or do we hold back for Sinister Sabotage? Right now, we're only taking one, so I think we're just going to hold back the Sabotage. That's definitely a card worth countering. I'm going to get rid of the Spell Pierce. Uh, so now I have to Discovery. Um, I want both of those. So, actually... Hmm. Can't cast either, huh? This makes me sad. I think I have to actually put them both in the graveyard. Uh, but I am going to cast this search for Ascanta. Hopefully we can find more. See, this is where the de this deck gets dangerous. I have to take four. I can't let them refill. Graveyard because it's not a black land. Uh, definitely going to transform it though. There's a black land. And we'll pass the turn. and their risk factor. I'm gonna take this action. Puts me to seven, which is dangerous. But I am going to...
keep the Eldest Reborn there, and then the Syncopate right behind it. We do take one, because I have to bounce this to ambush the Lava Runner. But we do have a Vraska's Contempt, so we're going to gain one of it back. And we'll just go ahead and do that now. Alright, and then we'll attack again. Canta here. Definitely going to take a moment of craving. And Ritualist sits really good too. So we may have pulled this out. Just going to ride this Dream Meter. No reason to play the Tezzeret and it doesn't change the clock so. Uh, we're definitely going to counter that. it again. That's three gone. And our opponent's had enough. All right, so uh, we played six games. We went three and three, I believe. Uh, and we were able to rank up a little bit in the silver tier four. Uh, this deck, uh, again, I think this deck is really good. Uh, my only complaint with it is it needs more win conditions. The game we lost to decking, uh, if we had more ways to put pressure on our opponent in that game, uh, we definitely win that game. Uh, we beat ourselves. We just had to keep digging to look for answers. Unfortunately, our, our win conditions were near the bottom. The ones they hadn't dealt with uh, at that point, at least. So I think it's really strong. Uh, you may, based on the metagame, if you see more aggro, want to uh, switch up the main deck a little bit to suit that. If you see more control, obviously you can do that too. Um, maybe next time we'll work on the sideboard and see if we can come up with a better plan for some of the decks in the format. Uh, we did beat this mono red aggro deck here in this last match. Uh, uh, from my Again, I said it during the match itself, during my playtesting, this was not a good matchup for this deck. Uh, but we were able to just hit the right spells at the right time uh, to get them. So anyway, if you liked what you saw, hit subscribe and like, and we will see you next week on Friday Night Magic with Karusamon. Thanks for joining us.